Hello, this is your girl Physology, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Make sure you like and subscribe. Make sure you click that notification button so you know exactly when I'm uploading new content. I'm on VU today, and I'm going to teach you guys how to make an accessory bag. Now, this is a shopping bag, as you guys can see here. It's pretty simple. It comes with a little bit of paper in it, something you would typically see from a shopping bag. And the outfit is from my shop. It's a cozy fit, and it comes with boots, but it is separate. So you have to buy the boots separately from the outfit, but it goes together. I actually love it. It's giving me like fall winter vibes and I just, I just like how it looks. Okay. So let's get started. I'm going to show you guys who I derived from. So I derived from Lucius Grayson and this is what it looks like. And it gives you the template, the front the handle and the sides and the bottom and the tissue that comes with it. I don't know if I will be changing the tissue color, but this is what it is. And down here's the product ID and you can click derive from product, which is much easier. So let's go into GIMP. So we are in GIMP and I uploaded these textures. So this is the front of the bag. This is the side of the bag. This is the bottom. This represents the bottom of the bag. This is the bag handle. And this is the tissue paper that's in the bag. So a bag that I decided I wanted to do was Pandora. I love Pandora jewelry. I think it's unique. I think it is amazing. I have nothing bad to say about Pandora jewelry. Their jewelry lasts a long, long time. And I think it's because they use silver, I think. Like a really, really good silver. So I just love their products. And I feel like this bag will be pretty simple. We're going to check out some bags in Google to see which one I'm going to do. I think the bags are very simple. So let's go check. So I went to Google and I typed in Pandora shopping bag. And this is what they came up with which these are really nice this is really really nice I like this as well I love these because it's simple I think I'm gonna go with Ooh, I should like the gray I really like the gray and the pink you know what I wouldn't mind doing a gray and a pink or I would do like a pink and black like a light pink and black like this but I think I'm gonna go with the gray and pink. So clearly this isn't the actual Pandora that I'm looking for, or maybe it is, I don't know. I've never seen the bag like that before, but I think I'm gonna go with probably pink and black, like a light pink and black, just to be on the safe side. So we're gonna make it pink and black. I also went into Google to look at the logos for Pandora and I downloaded a couple of logos. These logos obviously match this. I think I'm gonna go with either this logo or just the plain Pandora logo here. But either way, I think it's, it looks good. Or I might use both. It wouldn't be any harm to use both. But yeah, I think we're all set here. So let's go into GIMP and get started. So since we're going for a light pink, this will be pretty easy. The handle is obviously going to be black. I'm gonna darken this, but for the most part, we're gonna switch this black to something light. So how I do it is I go to invert and it changes it white. changes it white but you don't you don't lose any of the folds or the textures to it then we're going to color it pink it's just easier to do it like this it's harder to turn a darker color into something light right then so I always have to invert in order to get it to where I need it to go so we're gonna do a light pink this pink is good but the saturation is 
like a light pink. Hmm. This gives it a darker look. filters repeat colorize so it gives it that look I want to go and see exactly what it looks like in VU but I have to overwrite it first so overwrite export overwrite export so let's go into VU to see what it looks like for now so we are in VU and I'm going to see what it looks like. Let me see if this is correct. change in the color okay that's correct in that part the sides I guess the handle this would be the handle part so I'm going to change this back the back handle okay. I wish that sometimes they would put what things are. Sometimes it'll be under here, it'll say handle or front of the bag, back of the bag, stuff like that. But sometimes on here it does not, they don't give you those details. You have to figure it out on your own. Okay. So I'm liking the color. I was hoping it would be a little bit lighter, but you could still tell that it's pink. But for now, this is a safe bet to do. It's looking a little purplish to me. Then again, my eyes aren't 100%. <laughs> so I might have to go a little darker and then try to figure it out from there. So we're gonna go back into GIMP and straighten this out. So let's go. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to undo, undo colorize, undo colorize, and then I'm just going to colorize it myself, but. adjusting that you have to do to get it right the first time. what I'm going to do is I'm going to darken the handle even more it's pretty simple to do this you go to brightness 
and you just turn the brightness down. When I put the logo in, I might have to adjust it some, but I downloaded multiple logos, so. Open this layer. This one's a little darker, which I like. This one is a little lighter. I also have a number Where that would be at in here. Oh, it's right here. That's not bad either. So I think I'm gonna go with this one. And I'm just going to darken it myself. going to scale it. I wanted to duplicate it to make it a little thicker, darker, I can do that. You could just do duplicate layer. This is here again, and you could just duplicate it as much as you want. Layer, I'm not, you know what, I'm not even gonna merge it down. I just wanna see, I'm gonna overwrite. All right, let's go into VU to see what it looks like. Okay, we're back in VU. so far and I like the color that it came out with. so this is perfect I actually love it better than the other one so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to overwrite this color as well so let's go back into again okay so now I'm going to go file overwrite let's go back into to see what that looks like. Okay, so I'm going to have to put this in. Five changes. All right, now the bag matches. I love it. I love this bag. It's really cute. Very simple. It's perfect. So, this is what it looks like. I'm wondering if I shopping paper, but I don't think I should. I think it looks perfect the way it is. But you can use any logo you want. Just go into Google and type in the logo and type in PNG at the end of it. If the item is not transparent, you could always make it transparent yourself. It's very simple, I've done tutorial on that and I will leave that at the bottom in the description box so you can get that tutorial or I'll link the video in the description but thank you guys for watching have a nice day please like and subscribe and I appreciate all my subscribers and thank you again see you next time